Now we're taking a look at the uh, satellite radar and also the winds on this uh, from Idalia. And now those strong winds are pressing northward. We're seeing some gusts up about 35 to 40 along the ocean front. There's one gust recently to uh, Virginia Beach around 40 miles an hour. But the center is actually to the southeast of Wilmington. It's right in there and it's actually stretched out a little bit. The center will pass to our south today. That's a guarantee. I mean, Tropical Storm Idalia's track uh, stays pretty far south of Hatteras. But it's interacting with the front, and that's why the rain and wind were allowed to stretch so far north of the system. Uh, winds around that center are going to be 60 miles an hour sustained, but we won't have those types of winds here. The system moves east and then even drops southeast for a little bit, and uh, then we'll move out to sea. Now, it's possible it could move back this way a little bit. Some of the models lately suggesting that it could move back west, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, we'll focus on the short term. In the short term, we're going to have a little bit more rain, a couple tenths of an inch in Hampton Roads. Uh, in the next hour, we're going to have probably a little bit more than that here on the peninsula, middle peninsula. But uh, on the whole, going into the afternoon, the rain will decrease. And we still could see about a half inch over parts of North Carolina. Now, we are going to have some tidal flooding. Have a look. Yorktown, minor tidal flooding this morning and this evening. Lynn Haven Inlet, minor this morning, 4.8 feet. Uh, 5.1 feet. That's low and moderate for 10 p.m. And then Duck, North Carolina, minor at 9 a.m. Uh, moderate, but pretty solid moderate going into 9 p.m. this evening. You get that tide and you get those big waves we've had, you're going to have some overwash. And so here's the uh, forecast at Sewell's Point uh, in Hampton Roads. That's going to be going down going into Friday, but the uh, overwash may continue going into Friday. So it is expected this morning. It is possible 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. on Friday. But yeah, I think uh, 9 a.m. this morning going into that here pretty soon and uh, at 10 p.m. Now the rip current risk is going to stay up. It's today it's a high risk. This is mainly from Franklin. This will stay high going into the weekend, even though Edalia passes out to sea. There's Franklin. It's now northeast of Bermuda. It's got a 100 mile an hour winds, category two. It'll eventually weaken, but boy, it's taking its time. And that's because the water temperatures there are so far above average. Now this is Edalia. This is moving along a cool front and we're on the cool side of that front today. This is why we've got the rain so far north of that center. And that's why we've got this heavy rain right now around the middle peninsula eastern shore. There's a few heavy showers uh, down around Hatteras. There's flash flood warnings going on down there, uh, part of Currituck County and also for southern Shawan and Perquimans County. This goes for a little while. We've had some heavy rain in these spots, but now it's mostly a light rain, some moderate rain across the southern Outer Banks. We go to the south side, we've got some light rain here, um, mostly light rain, but it's wind driven. It'll feel heavy. And then you have a spot of heavy rain around Hampton and Bacosin, but a bigger cluster around Gloucester, right at the courthouse, and really most of Gloucester County, Matthews County, and the lower eastern shore. That's trying to move north. Now, this rain will decrease between now and about noon to where we just have a few coastal showers at noon and 3 p.m., but then we'll have some clearing inland. And that clearing will move east. So by uh, 5 to 6 p.m., we'll have some sunshine here in Hampton Roads, maybe a little sooner even if we're lucky. Overnight, we'll have mostly clear skies. The winds will decrease. And then tomorrow, we got a lot of sunshine, northeast breeze. Should be a pretty nice day out there on Friday. Right now, those winds are gusting about 35 miles an hour or higher around Virginia Beach and a gust of 25 in Killable Hills. Winds will be gusting 30 to 35 near the shore, but inland won't be that bad. And across the Outer Banks, could be up to 50 or 55 for a time. So the rain decreases today. The breeze stays up. We got highs in the 70s. Should be uh, cool, but today's dry or tomorrow's dry and cool. I have 74 in the upper 70s on Saturday. That's the latest forecast that I have. Now Madison's in with traffic.